Hey, my name is Al Corlin. Thank you very much for joining me. We are in Vancouver, British Columbia right now, getting some insight from some of the chief executives of our sponsor companies, uh, sponsors of the Corlin Economics Report. And I'm chatting right now with a gentleman who we all spent some time with down in Mexico about two months ago, shooting a video at their producing gold mine called La Negra. Lenik Rodriguez is the president of a company called Arcana Corporation. They have a lot of interesting things going on right now, full production in Mexico, and they also have a huge, huge asset uh, called the Schaffner Mine, which is located in Texas. We're going to give you folks an overview of everything that's going on. Lenik, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Thanks again. Uh, uh, nice to meet you with you again. Let's talk about La Negra first. You're, the, the La Negra mine is located about four and a half mi hours, miles, about four and a half hours from uh, Mexico City. It's up at the mountains. It's a, it's a self-contained community with, if I'm not mistaken, probably what, 1,000, 2,000 people? Are there about 1,000 people, yeah. I would say. Very, very interesting community, but the community is pretty well centered around this mine. Uh, it is an underground operation. We will have a video coming out on that very, very shortly. But it's one of the most efficient mines uh, that I've ever visited. They are highly profitable. They are uh, very, very efficient in terms of lowering costs, in terms of increasing efficiency from other standpoints. So I'm impressed. Tell our listeners about it from your standpoint as the president of the company. Sure. Well, first of all, I have to make a small correction. You said it was a gold mine, and really it's a silver, copper, lead, zinc mine, although we're going to be making I'm some just, announcements okay. in Let the near it, future. I'm just testing you. Thank you. <laughs> Silver lead zinc, of course. Exactly. But um, other than that, we're going to be making some uh, interesting announcements in the very near future where, where maybe I won't have to correct you anymore. There you go. You may not have to correct me anymore. Okay. Right. Well, Mexico does have a certain amount of gold. Exactly. Yeah. Well, uh, just uh, last week, the Peñasquito mine from Gold Corp was inaugurated, and that's uh, the largest open pit mine in Mexico nowadays. So yes, Mexico now is the fifth gold producer in the world. Fifth largest gold producer in the world. You know, let's, let's delve a little bit more into what's going on at, uh, at La Negra. When we were down shooting the video, you were showing and your staff was showing, and by the way, just to back up for a second, the staff uh, of, uh, of La Negra and you know, the, the technical team involved with with Arcana, in, in my opinion, is really second to none. I mean, led by Ron Nichols, it's just a, it's a very, very highly qualified team of individuals. But you continue to expand down there. Exactly. Um, at this point in time, we are almost half uh, ways there through the expansion uh, to 1,500 tons per day. We're actually in 15 days going to be starting the tests on the new second ball mill. And we should start uh, ramping up production to about 1,300 tons per day at the beginning of May and full 1,500 ton productions by uh, the end of June. So we are right on schedule and uh, about 10% under budget. Now, you've you, take, you took over as president of the company in, 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 relatively, in a relatively short period of time ago. Correctly. I took over as president of the company in May 19th of 2009. Right. Uh, the company was... Uh, well, not performing as uh, the board expected, so they appointed me as uh, the president, and uh, it's been a turnaround situation, uh, cleaning up of all our operations. We have uh, dismissed the prior operator, um, started operating all the mine ourselves, finally fulfilling the promise of increasing the productions, which you see is now the fact, and, uh, and turning a money-losing proposition into a money producing mine. Well, I remember the first time I met you, it was, it was rather interesting. We were doing an interview with Lennox in, uh, in Spokane, Washington at the Silver Summit, uh, and, and I was you know, getting some information on the company myself, basically looking at the financial statements, et cetera, and I said, after looking at the financials and everything else, I said, well, Lennox, what's the stock trading at? And at the time, it was trading around 20 cents or so, and I said, wait a minute, how can this be? You're one of the few junior miners out there who are actually turning a profit. You've actually got an income statement that's a real income statement. What's going on here? And at that point, you told me about how the turnaround had occurred, how once you took over things, you, you, you put policies into place that turned this thing into a real money-making operation. Exactly. We had to make lots of changes from the board of directors, the president, uh, the operator, changing people in, uh, in Mexico as well and giving the responsibility to our, 
of to our own staff in Mexico, which is also very experienced. They have decades long experience with major mining operators like uh, Gold Corp, uh, Grupo Mexico, Peñoles, etc. So definitely we have a top-notch uh, management equipment, both management people, both at La Negra in Mexico, as well as uh, corporatively in, in Canada. And we're going to talk about one other one other asset that the company has that we haven't we've mentioned it but we haven't really talked about it. And as an introduction, I would just like uh, like uh, Lennox to take maybe a couple three minutes and talk about that. That's a very very large asset that's located in Texas. It's called the Shafter Mine. What's going on there? Well, the Shafter Pure Silver Mine, if it was in operation today, it would be the 12th largest pure silver mine in the world. Uh, once we put it into operation, it's going to increase the U.S. silver production by 10%, and it should catapult the U.S. from the eighth silver producer in the world to the sixth largest silver producer. So it is a, indeed a very significant asset for Canada, for Texas, and for the U.S. And we're going to talk about more, more about that later. We are going to be doing is just, a, just in, in the course of in the course of our daily business with the Coraline Economics Report, we're gonna be doing more regular video interviews in addition to the radio work that we do with folks like Lennox, so you'll have a really good idea uh, as to what's going on. And I'm sure we'll be doing an update on this video with Lennox probably very, very shortly. Lennox, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me.